Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Underwater Bleakness Simulator, today's beverages. A very nice mango and passion fruit squash, very, very nice indeed. So welcome back to the game. Previously, we were expanding, getting some more resources specifically. Uh, we got an alloy furnace, we got a coal extractor, we can eventually get some concrete as well, and we were sending out some subs, so overall pretty happy. In this episode, we need to sort the air out, sort the population out. In fact, let me go ahead and set up some cloning here. Let's spool up the clone bay, 93% chance for a generalist, but 35 day life. I was going to say lifestyle, <laughs> life cycle, um, <laughs> 35 day life cycle, uh, yeah that's not ideal, but anyway, we have more resources, we got different fauna, and yeah we do need to expand, because over on the right hand side here we do have a new biome that is a coral reef, and in order to expand we need to unlock an outpost, we don't have enough resources, but that's actually not my concern at this stage, we do need to purify some air, and well let's do that right now, so, oh actually I've just realised that this thing can we place it there? Let's give this a go. So this is actually a bit of an experiment for myself. Um, the air purifier I always thought you had to place on or adjacent to the ox wygen generator, but I don't think you do. So I'm just going to put that there because, oh yeah, 27 crew have respiratory problems. Hmm, health reduced by 33%. Let's get this... Yeah, this air purifier up and running. We can get two of them, so I'm not too concerned about uh, the, the big issue at the moment. We can just build more if we need to build more. It does require aluminium, but we do have some aluminium. What I also want to do is probably turn off that sonar tower and indeed build another sonar tower. Let's go over to exploration and sonar tower. And I want to build it as far to the sort of right hand side here as I possibly can. The idea is that we can go ahead and scan in and around this area because this is where we've got the new biome. So this is the new biome here. So just to the right of where we put the scanner but to the north there is an uncommon habitat and to the north of that there's an oil field and oil is exceptionally useful for well generating power and such so we'll have a look at that in but a moment but I'd rather get the scanner up so we can scan around scan around and then find anything in that area so looking at the research it is obviously telling me to unlock an outpost and then build an outpost in a nearby biome um, Food though, do we need more food? I don't know if this is bugged or not. Or not. It's, it just say low quality food produced is 20 and we need 30. So do I need another one? Do we need more? But it, it seems to be counting up. It was on 50 earlier, it's on 55. I'll keep an eye on that. If it ever goes under say 30, then we'll we'll probably jump on that. I may maybe doing a we've got the the carb farms here, so we got our uh our pasta mine, and that's the baked potato mine. Or is that the rice mine? I don't know. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and maybe add another one of those in. Or we could go for a maybe gathering some specimens and, you know, going that way as well. We do have over here a fauna trap that's in the dark, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter at all. It does still generate, as you can see there. We're getting some, some uh, rose fish. Good. So it says one crew member is unemployed. That's actually a good sign. It means we've got a decent amount of people. Uh, two are unhoused, however. So let's fix that. Let's go over to population, over to a living quarters, and the living quarters will go there. Then we'll unpause that. Concrete, we have a decent amount of. 36. I think what we're going to do is... Are we okay for power? <laughs> no, not really. Um, ideally... Ideally, I would like a concrete extraction point. How many do we have there? Oh, I was going to say, how many do we have left? None. We've got steel there. There's coal extraction point over there. Quartz over there. Quartz there. Scrap steel. Basically, we don't have any. But let's go ahead and I'm going to get the scanning on while we can. And that was about it. That was fuel beacons. Let's go for resources here. And then the sun tower is recharging. Um, okay, so unhoused will be sorted, the unemployed will sort itself, but we definitely need to get some concrete. We need to get that extraction system up and running. So we're going to go for a drill extractor, which just extracts stuff in general, which I'll put in like so. The connections to that are going to be like this, and then over to there with the power. 
So I'll connect all that up. That will use power, which we don't have. So, well, we're gonna have to sort that out as well. So power, coal extractor, rotate that round. And we've made a loop, because of course we have. <laughs> and maybe there, that should be fine. So that should be enough power. We are still making more clones. Food seems to be okay. That should be fine. Okay. Resource beacon. Ooh, high, apparently, over there. Medium. Sonar tower is recharging. Small iron ore deposit. Small iron ore deposit. Small scrap steel deposit. That's good. And small quartz glass. Copper. Ooh, copper. Nice. Aluminium as well. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so, beacon to there. But we can't place one over there. Oh, hang on. I think it did allow us... For a second it allowed us. No, that's fine. Scrap steel. Iron ore. Iron ore. Scrap steel. Perfect. So I can place that there to get steel. So I'm just placing these beacons in while we've got the light. Um, resource beacons again. Do some more scanning. It's taking a little time for that to to, to recharge, but that's fine. <clears throat> okay, and we have our concrete extraction point up and running. And power's good as well. And it says we found two items. Let's have a quick look. It was over here, wasn't it? Quartz, concrete, iron ore, iron ore. Let's do... Even more scans. Like I say, I'm just trying to find as much as I possibly can for these sonar towers. We may as well send someone over to the sea mine. Or send someone from the extractor floor. Just have a look over there. Just find resources and such. 25 buildings have unsafe air quality. Okay. But if I put another basic air purifier in, we're still not going to fix the oxygen problem. That is now a problem. Another oxygen generator, I believe, would be in order. That should be fine. Just going to double check. It's connected up. Yep. And that's good as well. Cloning. Out of the cloning, we've got one, two, three clones. Working on the fourth. It's a 93% chance. <laughs> yeah. It should be fine. Scanning, doing all the scanning that I can here. Concrete and aluminium. Let's put a sub on that one. What are they currently mining? Steel. Oh, well, they might as well finish the steel off. Over here, quartz glass. We've got one person assigned to it. And I don't know where the other one is. Oh, we've got two on that one. We've got two on that one. All right. Exploit for resources. We've added steel. We just need more research points. We're on... It was 82 research points. Can we get... What's reinforced drill bits? Gather materials like aluminium and copper. Cost 90 for that. Hmm. We haven't got the multiplayer. Calculates trajectory of available research materials to multiply the research data production placed on top of a research lab. I assume you can't have both. But like I say, it's only an assumption. We've unlocked the slots, we've got faster cloning time, we don't need a trench extractor. I do think then, outpost, and then we'll need docks. We will need docks eventually. Two mining subs are idle, are they? Yes, they are. So, scrap steel there, but aluminium and concrete here. Ah, oh, we can't assign them because we don't have the ability to do so. Let's go for quartz then. Oh, hang on. I'll have to reduce this one, which is steel. And put one on there. And I'll put the other on that. They can mine the concrete, but they can't mine, can't mine the other one. So we now have people in here. Um, food is still middling, but it's still alright. I'm going to move someone from the concrete extractor. Uh, it's called drill extractor, isn't it? It's just drill extractor one. It is drill extractor one. Uh, drill extractor one. 
Actually, we can move on to someone from the alloy furnace. Because we're maxed out on steel anyway. And the drill extractor. And that's going to give us more oxygen. And also purify things as well. So I expect this to disappear. Oh, three crew are malnourished. So that's because we're only using the carbohydrate farms. Create only low quality food will eventually become malnourished. But we did place it in the mess hall. Provides recreation to eight crew assigned to workplaces, buildings with its area effect. Um, they can consume low quality food without detrimental effects. Oh, we still have the poor air quality. Okay, we're going to have to put another air purifier in. That's not a problem. I'm going to place it in here. That should fix the problem. Going again for the sub. Mm, maybe the decimated whale. Drill extractor. Ally furnace. Send sub. <clears throat> okay, so. That's working there. We got power. Oxygen's good. Fixing that there. One crew's unhoused. Let's fix that problem as well. What are we out of? We're out of... Oh. Of all things, we're out of quartz glass. Is that right? No, concrete. <laughs> okay. So... Overseer, it's become increasingly likely that we are going to leave lasting detrimental effects on the deep sea ecosystems. It could be helped useful to for our research if we conduct an environmental survey of the surrounding habitats. Determine what more suitable method for a sample collection. Take what you need to complete the survey. The crew said about surveying the environment, establishing how artificial habitats could be used to sustain populations of fauna for generating for gum. Your commitment to the environment is commendable. Ag acknowledged. So... We need to house the crew, but we need to get more concrete. Um, I'm going to assign... Well, there's nobody in the alloy furnace, which is fine. I'm going to assign... Someone else oh, has actually started there, so they're mining They're mining that concrete, which is good. I think all the genetics are complete, so one, two, three, four, five. That'll again give us about a 93% generalist. And again, we'll just, just spool that clone, <laughs> clone bit up. We need that um, more than ever. And let's gather research data. That does give us some research data, which is excellent. As for technology, we will need to get docks eventually. Reinforced drill bit. Biomass generator. I don't think we'll bother with biomass because we know where oil is now, which is over here. So the outpost is probably going to go around this area. That's the plan. That's the plan, anyway. Hmm. Can I get there with just lights? No. Oh, hang on, is that... It's a quartz glass extraction point? Hmm. That could be of interest. I'm just concerned we've got absolutely zero... Concrete, really. We are producing concrete. But at a really low rate. Yeah, it, is con it is concrete on this list here. I'm going to remove the people from quartz glass completely. Actually, no, we'll keep one on there. But I'll put the other one on the aluminium. The, the concern I'm having is that it says they're malnourished. So we need to get... Maybe. I mean, I don't think there's other habitats around here. I think we've... I think we've checked. Oh, no, it says high over there. Interesting. Did it spawn habitats? I didn't think it spawned habitats, unless it's a bug. Let's just have a scan. There's a habitat. Common habitat. Hmm. There's one there. There's one there. And there. Oh, right, okay. Well, that changes things completely. That completely changes things. Uh, a light tower's going in. Oh, there's three in a row. Perfect. Don't know why I'm whispering. Um, there. Get the light tower up and running. Common habitat. What have we got? It doesn't say. We'll see when we got the light tower in. And I think what we'll do is we'll get a proper... Calm down. Uh protein harvester yeah we'll get a protein harvester in and that should hopefully fix this, some of this null 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 
malnourished, not malnourished. <laughs> um, it still says we got crew members unhoused. All right, when in doubt, I guess we'll start spamming out. Living quarters. That covers that side as well, so that's fine. I'm gonna build another one. We're gonna need them anyway. So let's just tram line that up so we get more power. Looks like the air quality is good. Yeah, we're good. Good on that. Light tower's gonna go in. Power output is still shy. So the question is with these three habitats, what do we do with them? Do we what well, we're definitely gonna do a a protein farm, a protein harvester on one of them. There's the light going in. We have Habitats of a spider crab, Rosefish, and a rough octopus. Intra a rough octopus? So what's these ones? That's Rosefish. That's the crabs, I think. Spider crab. And that's John Dory. So Spider crab one is going to be our protein one. Because it's the most common, I think. Protein harvest is going in. Let's go ahead and I'm going to split this off. Actually, what I want is a junction. So a junction goes in. We should have from this point. Yep. We can build across and around like that. Uh, I don't like that it snakes like that. But that's fine. And then we can build over to that. Brilliant. So that's going to be the spider crab protein farm. We still have unsafe air quality. Really? Hmm. <clears throat> okay. What's causing that? Well, it's, of course it'll be all of this, won't it? I'm turning off the alloy furnace. One crew member says they're unemployed. They will get a job shortly. The malnourish will hopefully sort itself as well. Do I go for... Well, we definitely want to extract... Um, genetics. Fauna trap. We want to extract there. Do I want to extract there as well? Is the question. This one will be running out eventually anyway, this this one, because we're not re replenishing it with this marine stabiliser. Speaking of marine stabiliser, can we get all three? We can. We'd have to have it this side. But we can get all three. <laughs> brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. Malnourished will be hopefully sorted in a second. The problem is... Power. But, I know for a fact over here, we have an oil field. And if we build an outpost, we can hopefully sort that out. So there's our production. I'm going to add crew from the... Add crew from what? Because we're under, we're under 40. We'll go from the drill extractor. So we're going to produce more protein. And we've got the malnourished status as well, but we may be able to sort that by putting in another mess hall. Provides recreation to air crew assigned to workplace buildings within the area. Crew access can uh, consume low quality food with no detrimental effect. Ah, uh, it's within workplace area, so like around here. Whereas I've put it over there. No crew in darkness for 25 days. That's good. That is pretty good. And so hopefully the malnourished thing is going to fix itself. Uh, we are producing 26 food. It says we're going to get 37. Do I put another rosefish protein farm in then? Um, oh, we need bait here, don't we? So, spider crab. Because the, does the rosefish require spider crab there? No, I don't think that requires it. Yeah, they don't. Re they're just standard. They're just basic bait. Yeah. If we get food, is that the best course of action? Not sure. 
but research wise definitely 20 percent output definitely get that let's see how we get on with that one like I say, it says we're doing we're making 27 food in total and we're using 37 one day remaining well that has to be wrong <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on it <clears throat> 12 crew are now malnourished. So it's going in the right direction is the main takeaway here. We're still extracting concrete. Do we still have the subs over here? It says building operating. Yeah, they are. They're going over. They're definitely working. They're mining submarines. So it means then... Or is it cloning? Cloning's brilliant. I do think we just bite the bullet and have this as a protein farm and just have two protein farms. I know it's rose fish, which is 17%, better than the crabs anyway. Mm, we'll see. We're okay for steel. And there's them cloned as well. We're extracting concrete. We're also gathering concrete. And we've captured a rough octopus. <laughs> uh, let's see what that's like. So, in cloning, a rough octopus. Oh, it's bad. It's, oh, it's, yeah. So it's 11% chance. It's a, yeah, it's an 11% chance to, uh, <laughs> if we say put all the John Dorys in and a couple of rosefish, we get. A 97% chance for a generalist. If we put the rough octopus in, 91% chance. Mutation is also higher. Is it higher? Yeah. Mm. Mutation has decreased the clone's lifespan. Hang on, the rose fish. How come the change is like that? Hang on, so it's... 12... 12, 12, so we're up to 36 points, and two rosefish. That takes us to 52. Right. I've put a rough octopus in. Less. Oh, yeah, and then it's 31 days lifespan. Okay, yeah. So basically, the rough octopus. Mm, if we're going to do anything. We will protein farm that one. Okay. That's probably what we'll do. But, power's an issue. I do think we have to explore the next biome. So, submarine. Over here, I want to put the light around these two. So I can send a sub over there. It's difficulty four. But, well, we'll do it. So, drill extractor, oxygen generator, coal extractor, and, I mean, just research lab. I just need to send people over. So, that's being sent. So, subs on the go. We're still generating food. I do think we need to generate some more. If we were to do that, I'd probably gather rose fish, because rose fish don't require, I don't think, food. No. So we'll get rose fish, and we'll get, and then we'll, yeah, harvest that one. But if we have the concrete, can we place an outpost in here? Two more concrete, and then we're placing an outpost around here. That's the plan. Okay, we're gonna leave that for now. That's been a bit of surviving the abyss. Good. Happy. We've got a lot more sustainability. Concrete extraction, more food, malnourish is going down, oxygen and power are good. Yeah, overall pretty happy with how we're getting on. Next episode, we will expand. As always, if you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic parlings. <laughs>